Now let's solve for the value of x, given that the square root of x plus the square root of x minus 7 is equal to 7. Well, our first step will be for us to move the square root of x to the right hand side so that we are left with the square root of x minus 7 on the left. This is equal to, we have 7 on the right already. And as the square root of x crosses to the right, it becomes minus the square root of x. Now our next step will be for us to square both sides in order to get rid of this square root. So we have on the left the square root of x minus 7. I'm going to be squaring the left hand side. This is equal to, now the right hand side we have 7 minus the square root of x. I'm also going to square the right hand side. Now there is something we need to put at the back of our mind that the right hand side is of the form a minus b or squared and an expression like this can be expanded as a squared minus 2 times a times b plus b squared as in this case our a is 7 and our b is the square root of x so on the left you notice that this square cancels out the square root so that we have x minus 7 to be equal to now expanding this in this form we have 7 squared minus 2 times 7 times the square root of x and then plus the square root of x squared and now simplifying further the left hand side we have x minus 7 to be equal to 7 squared is 49 minus 2 times 7 times the square root of x is 14 root x plus now notice that this square cancels out the square root leaving behind x now notice that i have x on the left hand side I also have x on the right which can eventually cancel out so leaving behind negative 7 on the left to be equal to 49 minus 14 roots x now we're going to be taking like terms I'll be moving negative 14 root x to the left and then I'll be moving negative 7 to the right so I'll start with this as negative 14 root x crosses to the left it becomes positive 14 root x this is equal to now on the right hand side I've already got 49 and as negative 7 crosses to the right it becomes plus 7 so this is simplified into 14 root x to be equal to 49 plus 7 is 56. Now our next step will be for us to divide both sides by 14. So I'll divide the left by 14. I'll also divide the right by 14. Now notice that 14 can cancel out 14, leaving behind the square root of x to be equal to 56 divided by 14 is 4. Now to get the value of x, I have to square both sides. So I'll square the left, i also square the right. Now notice that this square cancels out the square root, leaving behind x to be equal to 4 squared is 16. Now let's check. So we're going to be checking if the value of x equal to 16 is a solution. Now the given question is the square root of x plus the square root of x minus 7 equal to 7. Now we're going to be plugging in 16 in place of x. So this will be the square root of 16 plus the square root of 16 minus x. And we're going to have 7 as a result. 
Now this is simplified into the square root of 16 plus the square root of 16 minus 7 is 9. Are we going to have 7 as a result? The square root of 16 is actually 4 plus the square root of 9 is 3. I believe that you can now see the answer. 4 plus 3 is actually 7, which is eventually equal to the right hand side. So our x equal to 16 is a solution. Well, feel free to share your ideas in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video and have learned something from this video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos. And like I always say, until next time, take care.